Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I've got a really neat little trick to make your own gates. So this gate is an example, which is also in the thumbnail. If I walk close to it, it'll open. You might have already seen this on Twitter or YouTube, but if you didn't, then you're gonna see it right now. <laughs> so this also works with cars, which is the coolest thing ever. So let me just get my limo here. So suppose you're leaving your house, which is supposed to be here. I mean, I built this the other way because I have the exit sign here. So you would go through, then it would just automatically open and close behind you. So this feature is probably going to get deleted in the next few days because it can be abused so easily. And I'll show you how to do that later. So this trick was found by a Twitter user by the name of FloatRBLX. So please check them out because they deserve some recognition. Give them a tweet, give them a follow or I'll kill you. I'm just kidding, I won't. With that being said, let's look at how to make this gate. First of all, you're going to want to place a wall, then go over to the door section and you want to use the new secret door. And this item is probably going to get removed in the next few days, so I suggest making a gate right now. So after you have the secret door placed, go to decorations and search up placemat. So you're going to place one at the bottom, then also place a second one. Then after you place the placemats, you're going to want to search up for a runner. I think it's called the, yeah, rectangular table runner. Then place it on top of the placemat over and over again and you can make it as long as you want. The good thing with these custom gates is you can literally make it as custom as you want. You can change everything about it, which I absolutely love. After you place your runners and let's say this is how long you want your gate to be, then cover the bookshelf or secret door around with some walls. And you can also do the same thing to the other side. And that's technically all it takes to create a gate. So let me just show you real quick how this works. So if we go over here to the gate and we open up the door, as you can see, the runners open up too. This is a really cool feature, but it's probably going to get abused. And I'm going to show you how to abuse it. And I hope I don't get banned by doing that. So now that the gate works, all you have to do is customize it however you want. There are like a million ways you can customize it. You can just place whatever that can go on top. So let's say you want to use a crate. This is the most common item used for these custom gates because they're so big. So you can just place gates all around. And of course, you can literally add anything you want on top of these. I'm just adding a bunch of random plates on top because why not? So now that I have the gate fully customized, I can test it out. So here I opened up the gate and it all opens up. If this is a problem for you, you can just place some more crates over here. If you remember with my own gate, it would open up automatically. So you can just go in with your car. So if you want to do this, it's really, really simple, but you're going to need some blocks box for it. So all you have to do is go over to the blocks box section and purchase one of the door auto sensors. I don't recommend the small one because it has a really small range. So I'd go with the one that's 45 blocks box. And then when you have it on the door, you can just go in with a car or whatever, and it'll open up automatically. So there we go. That's how you make a working gate. Now, what's really interesting about this trick is how you can abuse it. And which is why I believe it's going to get removed really soon. Even the creator of the gates float made this really abusive trick, which I absolutely love. We're actually going to do this trick in this video because why not? I don't recommend doing this because it's kind of evil and you'll probably be annoying other people. And I really hope I don't make this a really popular abusive trick after this video goes up. To be honest, this item might already be deleted by the time you're watching this. So now let's look at how we can abuse this item. To start off this evil abusive thing, <laughs> you're going to want to do the same thing you did before, but you want to do it on the edge of your plot. So place the secret bookshelf down and do the same exact thing I said before with the placemats and runners. After you place a couple runners over each other, you want to copy and paste the first one so it selects all of them. Then keep on copy and pasting until you go over across your entire plot. And the whole idea is to place a bunch of crates on top of these runners. But if you want to make this a lot more efficient, just undo everything I told you to do. Then you can just place it on the first few runners and copy and paste it with the crates on top. So you can just do what I'm doing and stack up a bunch of crates and build across. Now, as I said before, I don't recommend doing this because it's literally abusing the game. I really hope I don't get banned for this. And with the new update, they made everything simpler to copy and paste. So if you want to like copy and paste a whole bunch of crates, you can just copy and paste it from the bottom can just take two at a time so then after you finish that you want to copy and paste everything over and over again i hope you left a little bit of the runner poking outside so you can paste it on top of it this is as long as i'm going to make it because i really don't want to abuse this trick i'm really afraid of getting banned so after that when you open up the door uh it kind of breaks the game <laughs> so i'm going to take this abusive trick to a public server and see how people react to it this person is going to be my victim. I'm going to move this contraption to the side so it matches up with their plot. Then I can annoy them. And as I said before, please don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> I might have just crashed the game by selecting it. Yeah, this is like two frames a second. Uh, 
well, I just broke everything. <laughs> wow, now I have to redo everything. <laughs> so if you guys do do this, don't do what I just did and select everything and try moving it because it will crash. I just quickly rebuilt my evil machine. I made it a little bit smaller so it doesn't lag or glitch the server. So if I open, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a little way too evil. I wonder what else I can do with this. And it's like, you can't even move through it. So you can technically make some tolls. Like it even pushes you forward when you open it. I love this. I'm gonna try to join a different server and see if I can do it to anybody. This person is gonna be my next victim. So here they are peacefully building. Well, they're not gonna be peacefully building for long. So let's unleash this beast. <laughs> it's literally inside of her house. <laughs> hey, are you gonna react? Are you AFK? What are you doing? Say something for the video. I'm begging you, I need some content. Well, I think this person's dead or something. Somebody check up on them. I guess I have to switch servers again since this is not gonna work out apparently. Like, why are you not reacting? Oh yeah, I think somebody's rebuilding my house over here. Gonna check it out. Yep, they're making my build. I even recognize it just from the back. 10 out of 10. Amazing build. Thank you for building it. I may have just murdered this person's plot. Yeah, I can tell they're building <laughs> and my crates are going straight through it. Why is this even a thing in Bloxburg? Who thought this is a good idea? And why am I doing this? I mean, I kind of thought it's a good idea, but don't blame me. Look, I can keep on waving it in their plot. They're still trying to build. <laughs> Do they like not see the crates? Oh yeah, they do. They definitely do. I wonder what they're gonna say. Okay. <laughs> My feelings are so hurt. Thanks. I, I got called a clown. I deserve it. Oh wait, I wanna push her. Is she getting pushed or not? How is she not moving? That's so strange. Oh look, it's a car. The car is in the middle of my crates. Oh, it's literally stuck. Oh well. Hello there. This probably isn't what she expected. Wait, how is she going through my crates? That's illegal. Does she not see it? Like, I wonder if the crates are only on my screen. I love how this person is asking how to do this. So I'm gonna try to make a toll booth for this. Yup, they can't even go through it. They have to pay to go through it. So here's gonna be where I sit and I can control it. I just trapped them out of their car. My car. Yeah, go get your car. Look, I'm slapping her with my crates. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when you open it, the whole thing no clips. That's why like nobody's getting pushed by it. How? Door. Crate. Watch Anix on YouTube. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to get a better server. I've been to like six or seven servers and most of them suck. I've been having so much trouble to find a plot to troll, but this one seems really good. I even switched myself to a banana costume for some luck. This is a very iconic outfit. Totally didn't steal it from a friend. Yeah, now let's see what I can do to these people. I don't think there's anybody here, but let's just open this up. Oh my god. This is illegal. <laughs> I'm literally afraid of getting banned from Bloxburg now. I feel like the second this video goes up, literally everybody's gonna be doing this and... <laughs> well, that's not gonna end well. <laughs> well, I gotta switch servers again. Oh, my banana costume actually gives me some real luck this time. Here I am in my like 10th server already. So here's a house. There was a girl here. Oh, she's in the house. If I just open it up in her face. Oh, I can see her over there. I wonder if she's gonna notice it. You can just see me as a cute little banana running around. Does she not notice it? Like, there's a gigantic wall in your house. Yeah, she really doesn't see it. Hello, do you notice the gigantic wall that's going through and out of your house? Oh, yep, she came out. Is she gonna notice it? I mean, I think she noticed it. <laughs> oh, wait, she's getting trapped in it. Why, hello there. She's just looking at me. She's not saying anything. I'm really scared. She's coming closer. <laughs> I'll just look like a banana sitting down. That face though. <laughs> she's been staring at me for two minutes. Actually, she's not even looking at me. She's just standing there. Okay, now she's looking here. Now there's other people here. What are you doing? <laughs> I just found my next target that's peacefully building a house. It just randomly turned into nighttime. Okay, let's open this up on them. <laughs> it's in the center of their house. Now, are they gonna notice it? Yeah, she's looking down for some reason. Uh, there's a gigantic wall in your house. Are you gonna notice it? There's also a creepy banana behind you. Yeah, she's definitely dead. I guess I gotta switch servers once again. Well, this is gonna be my last time seeing if I can troll anybody. It's honestly not going that great. And as I said before, please don't do this. I'm doing it for entertainment purposes. The wall just went right through them. I can't even really see them. Well then, is he gonna notice it? Oh, yep, he just did. He's literally stuck in the crates. Oh, he's saying hi. Hello. How come people can just walk right through them and I can't? Like, can he even see it? Let me try again. Oh, he just got slapped by it. This Burger King reminds me of my Subway. They even have a drive through So he just smiled and left. What is he doing? Can I go in? Thank you, thank you. 
I don't know what I'm doing at a Burger King. That's not the point of this video. So I guess it's time to say bye. So bye. Please use Starcode Anix.